and welcome back to the shit they do not tell you what about in fact program welcome back to shit they don't tell you is the name of our podcast actually and nailed it and today my name is steven green and today my name is nikki limo and today indeed yes it's true it's a fact it's confirmed it's confirmed on many sources today we're going to be answering relationship today questions. we're answering relationship questions yep and um we have some doozies today wow d-o-o-z-y-s wow yep so get ready strap in everybody get your pull up your favorite beverage and perhaps make a warm snack do you know it's almost my birthday no nah, i didn't know that shit thanks for reminding me you're welcome what do you want to do for your birthday i don't know you figure it out i know exactly what we're gonna do for your birthday Sick. <clears throat> all right i know what i'm gonna do to you for your birthday <laughs> i'll tell you that anyway so getting to the first question today my 18 female boyfriend, 20 male, keeps referring to women excluding me as bitches and or whores. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we were up watching Dexter, and this morning he recaps the last few episodes, specifically re regarding Rita, when she, spoiler, cheats with the neighbor. <clears throat> he calls her a, quote, stupid dumb whore. He did the same thing with Pam from The Office, and he often refers to women in real life as the same. <laughs> this guy's so sick. Did you write this? Uh, that's why I picked this one. Yeah, I know. Parentheses never to their faces. I told them to stop doing that because it's a bad look. He apologized and then took it back. <laughs> he's like, psych. Claim <laughs> exactly. Claiming he's not sorry because it's, quote, just a show, and he was just joking. He also says it's okay because he's not insulting me. How do I explain to him that this is derogatory? <laughs> well, to be fair. First of all, let me just say this guy is a sick dude and he's tight. Also, like it sounds like he's just calling people that cheat on their significant others. Calling them out? Whores or For what or they whatever. are. Yeah, I mean, I'm not... I'm not saying that name calling is okay. I'm not saying that this guy's in the right. Pregnant but pause, I, I but... am saying that of all the women he could call that, like he's picking character. I feel like he's picking character traits. He's calling their character trait a whore, not them. This is incredible. <laughs> this this is not real. No. Right, because no. cause like, well, he's twenty, so it's like, well, right, it's but real. he's just talking. He's just talking, and like, he's not talking to the women. He's yeah. not, dude. Let me tell you a little story real quick. Okay, <laughs> I started doing this because I realized it really pisses off certain people, and so I can't stop doing it now. But plainly, so like, he only refers to me as a bitch. <laughs> as this bitch, yeah. I go these bitch. I go these sluts and stuff like that. And on JK, I heighten it all the time. I'm yeah. like, these sluts, man, these fucking sluts. Yeah. Um, but that's the whole point of it is that I, first of all, was not raised that way. I could never, ever actually think that way or feel that way. But when I just let it slide off my tongue so plainly. It's just so silly. Absurd. It's absurd. It's absurd. And but when but it's also my favorite thing in the world where people there are humans out there who actually think that I'm that guy. And that's what I work in. Yeah. At. That's what I want. That's what I crave. That's what I There's people see. that think you think of yourself as the crypto king money man. That too. It's the best, man. Yeah. It's the best and I would not change a thing about but it. But do you think that this guy is trolling? Because I don't think he's trolling. I don't think he's trolling. I just think it's it's funny that he calls Rita a stupid dumb whore. <laughs> I just don't think that he's like a real woman hater. No. Bro. I think he's just like talking to you and you're the confines of your house. Yeah, like if a guy in a show did something fucked up to the girl character, I'd we, be like, "What if a jerk head, a jerk face, yeah, bozo asshole, clown, like scumbag, little scumbag, yeah, fucking scumbag." We do it all the time when we watch reality TV. Hello, our favorite thing to do. Yeah. And what do you do when you watch reality TV? Oh no, you talk politely about everybody on the show. To I each thought other. it was gonna be like w more like what you do in jest, where the guy is referring to everyone as bitches and hoes I and know. stuff, but it's not like a Santa Barbara guy who wears Vans. Yeah, has a fucking backwards. So ball this cap. one bitch, she would come up to me and she was like, "Y'all, can I get your number? What's your Instagram?" And I was like, and I, was like "I was like, maybe I'm trying to get my dick sucked a little bit." <laughs> so I was like, "All right, here you go, bitch." I was like, here you go, bitch, and then she was like, "Thanks." Nikki's yeah. talking about a bunch of people that we grew up with who yeah. were doing this shit like in reality and that cracks us up. So there you yeah, go. Yeah, before social media that like oh, yeah. kind of conditioned people to like what it's acceptable <laughs> the way to talk. Yeah. I feel like this was way more prevalent. 
It, of, it was. It still is. People still talk like, yeah. you know, Well, like you didn't used to stuff. like get canceled for saying like gay or retarded right. or whatever. True. So it was like way more prevalent of, and people aren't talking about actually mentally challenged people or no. actually no. homosexual people. They were just saying it in their vernacular. Like it's just like, uh, just in the, fr- it's just in the sentences. Yeah. It's like, yeah, so my teacher, she gave us homework on the weekend. It's gay. Like, you know, like. <laughs> just the kids we grew up with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it, it's, yeah. So, like, I could, yeah, I could guy with see. with a Vaughn Dutch hat on. It, it's very contextual. Like, it has to. I know. I need the context of how this guy is, is <laughs> saying it. But it sounds like, because it, it could easily be a slippery slope where it starts off him like lightly saying this and then it becomes like misogynistic Very okay true. it could it, that could happen Very and I'm, that's why i'm not like promoting it but i don't know like if the context is more like he's just reacting in the moment to like some cheating happening yeah, yeah. and we all agree that rita doing that to dexter was yeah, messed up exactly dexter's so hot <laughs> I, I would like to edit that out mark that makes me look really that makes me look really bad Mark, I'm a married man, and my wife talking me. about makes me want to be. My wife talking that way about another man makes, makes me look very me bad. Mark, I'd like to, that to be edited a out. Thank bad you. girl, so that he co- so he wraps me in saran wraps. <laughs> I'm just glad Mark is going to have my back on this one. I just know he will. I just yeah. know it. And yeah. He's going to edit it out. Thank you, Mark, for very much. Helps my marriage. Okay, yeah, th- that is uh, hilarious. One, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, 18 and 20, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, come on. You're just going to have to fall on your face a few times and navigate the world. Amen, <laughs> I don't dude. even know. Amen. Okay, next one. My 28 male boyfriend okay. yelled at me, 30 female, the day of my mother's funeral, any advice? Ooh. I'm 30. My boyfriend, 28, has have been together for about four years. And he's been in another state for the past month for work. He also works nights. I work during the day. So communication in general has been rough. He's been very distant since he has been working. He knew about my mother's health issues. I tried to keep him updated while he was gone. At times, I was overwhelmed. Barely talked to anyone. When my mother passed away, he was the first person I told. And then me and my siblings had to go through the process of planning the funeral, which was very difficult in and of itself. He got mad at me for not communicating with him direct, uh, effectively. But I thought he would understand that I was dealing with a lot. I never cried so hard the day my mom passed away. And the only person I wanted there was him. I knew he had to work and he came back home to support me during the funeral. He also mentioned to me how much money he was missing out on by coming to the funeral. Oh my God. Which I thought was unnecessary. His mother picked him up because she was close to the airport and she dropped him off at my house. I was not there because I was getting some last minute things for the funeral. But he had the key so he was able to get inside. He calls me yelling, asking where I was. And then... And when I previously told him that I had to pick up a couple of things, uh, I got there about five minutes after he called me. When I finally got home, he continued to yell at me and I just burst out into tears because I didn't know what to say or do. I've contemplating breaking up with him because I just felt as though I just felt it was unacceptable to yell at someone in such a vulnerable moment. At this point, I don't know what to do. Want some input. Uh, man, uh, gosh, like four years is a long time. Yeah. Um, that's that That's is a pretty a huge red flag moment yeah like okay i gotta say that's a deal breaker because like ultimately you're thinking that this relationship is going to lead to marriage in which case you're spending the rest of your lives together do i want to spend the rest of my life with a partner that couldn't be there for me on one of the hardest days of my life yeah like you have that's to meet insane. the moment you have to meet the moment like it's like that whole like meme that's like, if you can't handle me at my worst, then you don't deserve me at my best, you know? But it's like that, like um, this is her lowest and that's when you need your partner the most. And so if he's like yelling at her on that day, yeah, uh, yeah that's, I, I know it's a lot of life changes she's going through. Maybe a breakup's not something she wants to add to the plate, but like, once this is processed, I think that I would seriously contemplate uh, breaking up. I would probably do it in, then and there. As fucked up as that is and crazy as that is, I would probably just dump. I, I'm known for that. It's kind of my thing. Yeah. Like in the moment of like, this is actually crazy. Mm-hmm. You're an insane human being. It's easy for me to say that. Yeah. But when I've been at some of my lowest points, it was hard to do two 
low things that, that makes was. so much sense so yeah. like for example in my last relationship uh, i was in a pretty toxic relationship like some terrible things i don't think that he would I, say that I, I i like caught him doing <laughs> fucked up things yeah. um and but i was also in the process of getting sued and i couldn't handle both things right. at once so i the the lawsuit had a deadline and I was talking to my mom every day, like basically the whole time. And I talked to her about both of the issues, like the lawsuit and my relationship and how like stressful both of them were. Yep. And she was basically like, let's just do one thing at a time. Um, I don't like this, how this relationship's going for you, but let's just get through the lawsuit thing and then deal with the breakup thing. Yes. Especially since I wasn't ready, like, the the emotional and this girl's been with her boyfriend for four years. I was with him for like a year at this point, and I was like, I, I still like had feelings for him. Right. So it was like too hard to deal with the loss of that and be in this vulnerable pl vulnerable place of going through this lawsuit when I'm supposed to like be fighting and like feel like I have less support on my team. Yeah, totally. For that, so yeah, I I just think it's, it's hard to 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 heal through two big things at once. But you can, if you can do it, then great. Like, like if it ha were to happen now, which I hope it never happens, yeah, well, yeah. obviously, like, that's not yep. going to happen. But, like, if if that same situation, like, if I was, if that was happening to Nikki Limo today, like, yeah. where I'm going through a toxic relationship plus uh, getting sued, I think I would just, like, get rid of everybody and, and go, like, hibernation mode, like, hermit mode. But that's because, like, I'm very... I'm very sure of myself right now. Yeah. Like I'm I'm a, in a very stable, like I know who I am and I have like a, a foundation inside. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas when I was going through this, I was 24, 25 and I was completely shook. I didn't know who I was as a person. I didn't know where my career was at. I didn't know where to go from. The, I just like everything was just so chaotic yep. that I, mean, I just didn't feel like I could do both at the same time. Yeah, and I think... That makes way more sense than what I said. I was just talking about like, in order to maximize the punishment, just letting them know, hey, this is like, you really suck. Yeah. We're oh, done. Definitely letting them know. Yeah. Yeah. And like, to me, the best way to do that in, in history yeah. is during. Yeah. Like, story I've told before, I remember I was sick. It was around Christmas time. And I was supposed to go over to my girlfriend at the time's house. They were going to make tamales. You know me. I love Mexican food. Why yeah. would I ever try to get out of that ever right. in the history of time? I called her up. I was like, hey, dude, I think I'm I'm not feeling good, man. I got like an itch in my throat. I feel like I'm going to be sick. I don't want to get your grandma sick. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get your family sick. She started flipping out on me, went ballistic, yelling at me, a sick man. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, yo, you're this is crazy, exorbitant like uh, of a reaction for what I'm trying to do and yeah. protect like your loved one. I was like, we're done, dude. I can't do this shit. Just like maximum punishment. Here's the sentence. It's death. And then the next day, cause this is the day before Christmas Eve or whatever. Yeah. The, the two days later, Christmas day, she shows up on my doorstep, hyperventilating and shit like that. And when I open the door, my voice is gone. I can't even talk. Yeah. Cause like I was sick. Right. It was legit. Yeah. Why would, you, why would she think you're lying? Dude, the bitch is just crazy. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> so I don't that's it's wild to me because there must have been there must have been some falling out before this, right? Yeah, I mean I there used to be like she would try to do things with me and I, and vice versa and I would have reasons. Like I have siblings, I have like a family, I have to do things with them. I can't just make it all about you. Right. And that was very upsetting to her sometimes. So you guys would were fighting already. We stuff. would fight about that a lot. Yeah. My sister used to be so pissed about it. So yeah, because I, I feel like that <clears throat> stuff it was not It was boiling over. Exactly. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't just like it was just like the last straw. It wasn't like that one incident, isolated incident, and you're, right. you're done. You don't have any warnings or anything. No, but I wanted it to. I felt like I'm meeting the moment. It's like, all right, maximum punishment. Right. So with this case, though, I mean, we don't have really any background on their history. No. But like, do you think that that's a if this was like an isolated event? Do you think that's like a I a think this is maximum. Punishment I think this is a breaker? breakup move. Yeah, because the guy is taking a huge dump all over her when she's going through the worst thing ever and he can't just 
subside his stupid emotions, he has to berate her. Yeah. That just says a lot about him. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I would ultimately hit breakup, but I, break I guess I just need would need time to process it. Mark, delay the breakup button and hit it at the end of the show. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, next one. I, 20, this is a tricky one. Tricky one. Okay. I, 27 male, found that my girlfriend, 25 female, still has saved photos and intimate moments with her ex. Oh. I don't know what to do. The other day she was out. We started living together very recently. And as always, she left her PC open and on. So I wanted to turn it off because it was on. But my eyes were caught by recently opened folders. Your eyes were caught. <laughs> I and know. I was, this dude was snooping. This dude's snooping a <laughs> little snooping. bit. Come on, dude. <laughs> He's like, oh, The blue light oh is my. like, whoa, it's glaring my eyes. It was eyes. just there. And oops, I, I tripped and sure. I opened this folder. Sure, bruh. <laughs> I Let's saw. Say you were suspicious and I, you were snooping. I opened recently opened folders and saw some with her ex's name, and my curiosity got the best of me. Oh, did it then? Mm-hmm. There was photos with her and her ex naked in intimate moments, and photos of her ex naked in the mirror, etc. They broke up some time ago. We've been together for some a year. Time. We've been together for one year. This made me feel a bit confused because she doesn't want to take naked photos or similar. I'm totally okay with that, but why with her ex was it chill? And secondly, I know that if she found out I still had some of my ex's naked photos, which I don't, I deleted them all after the breakups, she would really be sad and mad at me. Now I don't know what to do because I feel a bit distant from her and a bit mad. But I know I did something bad watching watching in her private things, he says. <laughs> <laughs> I did something bad in watching, watching in her private, her private things. things. <laughs> Jesus. Um, sounds like a guy who, who owns a lizard. Maybe he's ESL. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if I should talk to her about it or say something or just shut up and move on. I don't care about the photos with her ex in everyday moments, etc. because she can have good memories about particular moments. Nah, bud. Mm. But why still keep intimate and naked photos? <laughs> yeah, that's... It's particularly weird because, um, like, girls aren't... Women typically aren't, like, visual, yeah. visually stimulated right. people. So. You don't want dick pics as much as the internet seems to think. And guys like me seem to think that you want. Mm, exactly. But, but we do. I do have a theory that maybe you do want them more than you think you do. I don't. Okay. I well, don't. we're going to try again tomorrow. I'm going to decline we're gonna try again all dick pics. Mm. I do like a good, a good dick. I do I've like a good I've dick. I've heard that about you. Yes. Uh, I just don't. The Wait. picture does nothing for me. Yeah. It does not. I have a vivid imagination. I yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. It's just when you don't need like a, an upshot of a guy, and then he's got his dick out, and then you see the flash in the mirror. I do need that. So okay. if you could get one of those for <laughs> <Yeah>. me, <laughs> no, but like, yeah, that's that's what's that's what's odd about it is like, okay, but let's just let's just say she yeah. does get turned on by this thing, and like maybe and she's yep. keeping them because she's like no yuck in the yum, right? Like let's just say let's just go with it, benefit of the doubt. Those that, are her that Those are her yummies. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, this is something to bring up for sure. Like I wouldn't. I, obviously, you were snooping, and so you'd have to cop to that. Got to cop it. But, um, I mean, you can't unsee it. No. So, like, you're always going to be thinking about it. And the best thing to do is just to, like, get it out of the way. Like, yeah. I mean, in my opinion, what do you think? Because this, a similar thing happened to me. Yes. And I might have told you about it. Uh, no. Not to continue. You I think I've me. talked about it on the show before. Um, but not to continue harping, but. I believe this is your deepest secret. You've never told I, don't, me. I think I've told you to said on the show many times because you made fun of the folder name. It was titled Awesome. Oh, I know you're talking about. Oh, yeah, I yeah. know that one. Yeah, and it was like a bunch of his exes, like topless and stuff, and, including me, which I did not consent to. No, you don't. You're not I've in I've never consented to topless pictures ever, but I was in there yet. I was in there. Um, and then also there were other folders of uh, like one was like, like the time I dated a 19 year old and it's like him with this like 19 year old girl that he dated, which I got more context later that he like lied about his religion to like, <laughs> what a this snake. Girl was, this guy this all girl time was Christian, snake, like snake. really, really Christian. And so he pretended like, to be Christian. a church boy. Oh my. And so when I met him, he was still going, to, he was going to church and I was like, what a good, like, wow. Like what, I've never dated like Are a guy that, real? yeah. And Just then I, game. I put all the pieces together because he stopped going to church, like maybe like a month or two into us dating, but he was still going to church. Like he was waking up on Sunday morning, going to church, like to help out with his church. And I found out way later, like 
by finding stuff that like that yeah he lied about mm. being super religious so that he could get close to them and so he was still seeing them guys a snake like he was still seeing her and her friend yeah anyway i found that folder you gotta keep up appearances of like yeah i found that folder of him like basically getting off on the fact that he was with a 19 year old every at every turn I'm, yeah uh, you but didn't so, tell me that part so i had i know that part i haven't said yeah. i mean this is just shitty all around but like um i i had to bring it up because i'm not gonna like not bring it up because right. now i'm like deeply disturbed like hey aren't you kind of a scumbag i'm deeply disturbed yeah. about this and by the way this is the same guy like so this is one of the things that happened while i was getting sued so like it's like ah like i didn't want to have to deal with this well, I right wish I now had enough free time to do something i wish i was ignorant to this so i could deal with this later Fair. but now i have to deal with this and like normally in a stable place i would just break up but like i'm in this really weird low low self-esteem yep. low vulnerable place where like easily manipulated yep. he like easily manipulated his way out of that um just like i was like what are these trophies like what what's going on like who's this girl he lied about being with that girl and then i s said that i found this folder <laughs> like and then he couldn't lie about it anymore so insane yeah because he had gone to dinner with her <laughs> and i was like she never dated her and he's like no and then i found this like folder of like all of her <laughs> like anyway yeah so wait he has pictures guy. of him at dinner with this chick no no no. he he had a folder of pictures of her and them together and stuff like that okay. mostly just her and then like some of them together and then but while we were in a relationship he said he was going to dinner with his friend so and so oh, yeah. and i was like is this an ex he was like no but it was You're right and then i found this folder and i was like that's that girl it says i dated a 19 year old is what the folder is called Good lord and then so i bring it up again like you sure you didn't date this girl and he's like no you're fucking crazy and i was like yeah you're psychopath huh, it's weird because i found a folder that says i dated a 19 year old and this girl's all over it like it's she's all in it and anyway uh I forgot about that. Just, no, that was an unlocked memory I for me. Tell. I can tell. Um, but yeah, like I, I only bring it up because it's a similar yeah. thing where I was like, shit, I did see that folder on the computer and he was curious. I was already, see that's the thing though, is I was already, he'd already done some shit yeah. and I was already was feeling sussery. sussery. Yeah, yeah sussery. And it's like unexplained because like, am I being par paranoid? Because mm -hmm. I, I mean, do I do I not trust him? I but I found weird shit before, and like he says, like that's all in the past, like all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I've never had this problem with you, not ever, not one time. I've You're never, welcome. I've never been like, hmm. I like, should get a key to the city. Steve's do what's Steve computer up? To? Like I've never ever had an inclination, but with this guy, like I, I just needed to know. Like I felt yeah. like this this ur this urge to like look through shit because it felt unsettling. Yeah. There was like some sus was it shit an going always on. unsettling thing, or just like the way yeah. that he was around you? Um, well, I mean, always lingering in the background. Okay, yeah, yeah, because like he would do the love bombing thing mm -hmm. to make me feel yes. really safe, like just like you're, you're the best, you're the best, best. You're like, oh my god, I'm gonna wife you up, you know, yep. all this stuff. Like he would give little little trinkets, little gifts and yep. stuff, like. Um, for my like he brought me like a like a sad day tiara to put on like on my sad days and stuff You know like he would do things like that yeah. to like make me feel live action role playing special thoughtful and stuff And then he'd be like I'm gonna go um, write at a bar like I'm just gonna yeah, go gonna like have a date with I'm a girl do writing sessions and then later I'd find I'd want to like look through his phone just like mm -hmm. okay I feel pretty like he made me feel safe But like he said he was writing at a bar and like I don't know I feel weird like why is he leaving right now like I'm yep. yeah, whatever and I, I like after many, many, like all these folders and all this stuff, I, I like, I did look through his phone before, which I don't think you should ever do. I think if you ever have that feeling that you want to look through your partner's phone, you should just break up. Yeah. Um, but I had to know, like, I had to know I wasn't crazy because he made me feel so crazy mm -hmm. for even thinking or like even feeling this way. And for me, it was just like a, it was almost like vindication. Like it was just like, like a validation almost to like, no, no, you're not crazy, you know? Yeah. And I, sure enough, like the texts are all like me. He was not writing at a bar alone. He was fully meeting up with girls to go dancing with them. And who knows what happened after that. And they're just like, oh my God, I had so much fun with you tonight. Like, when can we hang out next? Like all this stuff. When you found out about that? 
Yeah. Did you wear the sad girl tiara? <laughs> you know that I he did. Got you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Like looking back oh on this era, God. I'm like, how did yeah. I put up with so much? Because this wasn't Self-esteem. even exactly. Yeah, a hundred percent. I was at you're being crushed my from multiple very lowest angles. from yeah. multiple angles, and just really like doubting my judgment, doubting my self worth, doubting like everything, it, all of my choices, my life decisions at this point, you know. And uh, 25, yeah, it's a tough time. Um, By but, the way, the laugh that Nikki just gave me about 35 seconds ago—that's her real laugh. So that's always an honor, and it's my favorite thing in the world to to, to achieve. I missed it, but I agree. It is. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, we're gonna go on a break real quick, um, and I'm gonna scold Nikki for bringing up her ex, and then we're going to return, and we're gonna continue. Luckily, he hasn't found the pictures yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna, and I'll probably scold Nikki about pictures. bringing up the pictures thing too, and then we'll be right back. Boy, do I get turned on by a naked mirrored man <laughs> <laughs> with the flash. With the flash. By the way, if you like this show, nothing helps the show more than subscribing to our Patreon, patreon.com slash sticky, S-T-I-K-K-I. It's only five bucks a month, like such a deal. You get this show early, a day early. You get to keep Mark employed. That's a big one. Come on. Uh, we have the best Crypto Discord corner. community. We have free roll poker tournaments with cash prizes every month. Um, and we do a live stream. And, stream. Yep, Crypto and Corner and every Crypto. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We go deep on the crypto markets, which are... Super fun again. Super fun again. We'll be RB. Burp. Hey, we're on a break right now, and uh, I guess we're supposed to promo our show. Yeah, so we're going to talk about our we're show. We're going to talk about a show that you took a break from to like right. talk about how you should listen to our show. Technically, we're not on break. We're still working. It's culture they don't tell you, and it's all the shit that we wish people would have told us that we had to mess up on and figure out ourselves. Now we're telling you about it. That's it. And sometimes we answer questions that you send in, and sometimes we judge other people's situations so keep listening and uh check us out on patreon patreon.com slash sticky thank you and shout out to brian jorgensen and we are back do you feel scolded do you feel corrected i feel very punished (laughs) (laughs) um i'm so sorry (laughs) (laughs) no i think that was good stuff i mean i love hearing about you know your ex all the time I'm kidding. Uh, no, it's, no. I love really, hearing about what a shithead he is. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, honestly, that, it's always blows my mind when I think about it again. Like, it blows my so mind crazy. too. It, it blows my mind when I think about like because there's so much I feel like I've suppressed because it was a lot. Um, like physically, like I f- like fell over in a subway when I was drunk. Um, yeah. and like I hurt my hand pretty bad, and I was like t- saying like I hurt my hand really bad, and we were all drunk but like this really sweet older man was trying to help me up and he was like no like leave her down like le- on the subway floor and i was like hurt and stuff and he was like luckily this older man was like pushed him out of the way Good. and like helped me up and stuff Good. and i was like thank you but it felt like i deserved to be on the ground like i went along mm. with it because it was like very like conditioned like that this is just a bit and like well we're going along with it because it's like it's like funny it's a bit and like but he was never like he was never concerned afterwards yeah. my hand was really hurt like at the whole night and i was like oh it really hurts and he's just like get over it Jesus. like that kind of shit it was like a lot of just every day you just get used to like i i like this is a normal way to be treated like right. i am supposed to be treated this way and like i am like what who am i to like question any of this wow you know i don't know it was a fucked up time it's crazy to me because you're such a whiny person. Like, I can't believe that you hurt your yeah. hand and, like, it wasn't the rest of the night about that. Well, I got you're that reprimanded. Beat, yeah, I got yeah. that beat out of me, like, a couple times of, like, whining and, like, he just being, like, oh, it's such, like, a turn off, like, so, like, uh, and I'm, like, like, I just couldn't be myself at yeah, all. Exactly. Like, zero could well, be Well, that's myself. what I love about you as a whiny person is it is very much who you are. And <laughs> because I, I'm in love with you, it is just so endearing to me and, like, it's like little fireworks burst in my heart, like when you just are being yourself. Aww. There's nothing I could do about it. I'm stuck. Sweetie. I anyway, love you. <laughs> I love you. Uh, nothing I can do. I'm stuck. No, like my parents used to call me a brat in an endearing you way are a brat. when I was younger, you are and I used a brat. to think it was like, yeah, I used to think it was like a fun term, like yeah, he he, you know, he. <laughs> <laughs> and then like not until you was it embraced again. It was like something like mm. I had to suppress because 
yeah, ex boyfriend was not having it, wow. like not having it. I can't believe you could suppress any of that. Honestly, well, it's I impressive. W- wanted to die every day. Mm, that's the truth. Uh, so that's yeah. That's the truth. Um, on my good days, I only cried a little. <laughs> okay, well, feel free. Yeah. To, if you remember anything else, let us know. We're gonna get back into the ne- next relationship okay. question. Okay. All here right. we go. How would you feel about your boyfriend, 29 male, hanging out alone with a new girl, 24 female, at her house? Mm. Mm-mm. I already hate it. 34 female. Hate it, but My boyfriend, 29 male, is a student, met a girl, 24 female, who is also a student about a month ago. They have started texting quite a bit, nope. going for coffee. I hate it. And last weekend, they hung out all day. Nope. Hear him out. Hate it. Hear him out. Hate it. Hear him out. Initially going for a walk in the park together, and then he went back to her place for the rest of the day. <laughs> He said they hung out for about 11 hours together. What? And he came home just after midnight. They're planning to hang out uh, at her house again one evening next week. Evening? One evening. Yeah. One. Just one. <laughs> Not all the evenings, Limo. Just fucking stop being right. dramatic. I'm sorry. You are a yeah. brat and a whiner. And I'm dramatic. See? Yeah. I raised with him that I find it a bit uncomfortable. There's a difference between going for coffee, I feel, hanging out in a public place and being alone together at her house. A hundred percent. Although he's also texting her and hanging out and saying they're just friends and that he quote doesn't Girl. even. He, he quote doesn't even know. Get this. My favorite part. He quote doesn't even know if he wants to be her friend that much because she's a bit annoying and immature. What do I do? Why is he going to her house to hang out Correct. Then? What the hell? Correct. Okay. This bitch is being scammed, dude. Yeah, this that's... This chick is being scammed I hate it. up and down. I hate and it. Right. I hate all of it. Um, so what's the line for you? How 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 blurry can we get this, this line? This line has been way too crossed. Yeah. Way too crossed. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think the line mm. for me is like, okay, like if you have a study buddy, okay, like maybe you're studying in the library at the school, it's like kind of, that's kind of the line, like you're on the line right now. Yeah. But like... I don't know. There's not. That's a lot. <laughs> Texting, coffee dates, and hanging out at houses alone. But she's kind of annoying. So yeah, that definitely makes you want to go hang out with her at her house alone. I'm just saying, like, I don't even like. Like, yeah, I hang out with her, but I don't even like it that much. <laughs> right. How do you sell it? This is this is how sell it. this is how the girlfriend should. Uh, I know rephrase exactly. it to him. No, exactly. Yeah. Sell it to me, dude. Because it's like I that is just that. nutty. Nobody. No. Uh. Uh-uh. I hate all of it. Um. I would set boundaries immediately, and and like, yeah, we're. I'm not putting up with that. No. Yeah. Would you put up with this? What? Would you put up with it? This? Oh no no no! My next question. I'm waiting. Boyfriend, male, twenty eight. Me, female, twenty six. My boyfriend never goes down on me. I don't know what to do. Nope. Pass. Right? Break up. Break up, bye. Immediately. Break up. Right? Tell him to come out of the closet. Love and it. Get him. Break it. Bye. Get him. We've been together almost a year now. He never goes down on me. He's done it maybe once. By the way, mom, if you're listening, you can turn on the volume now. Thank you. <laughs> he's done it maybe twice. And the last time when he's when he finished, I gave him a beach and asked to, to do a 69. I gave him a beach and he asked to do 69, but I nervously declined. No biggie. I was happy he even wanted to do so, but that was months ago he never goes down on me my ex used to do it almost every day oh yeah. why'd you leave him yeah he was the one that got should've, away yeah i should have married that one should've married that one i'm embarrassed to bring the conversation up but i would like to know why he doesn't i don't want to cheat because i love him but i'm not satisfied at atp what's atp at this uh, point at the yeah at this, at this point. point yeah i give him beaches almost whenever he has the cess <laughs> And I'm just left feeling unfulfilled afterwards because he never returns the she favor. She shouldn't be embarrassed to bring this up. Why is she embarrassed to bring this up? Well, because she's a woman. Hmm. Yeah, she shouldn't be embarrassed to bring this up. This is something that needs to be talked about. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, are you ready for this? Yes. This is my favorite part of it. Okay. He, <laughs> he has told me once that... <laughs> I don't know how else to put this, kids. Okay, here we go. He has told me once that my labia was bigger than any of the ones he's seen. <laughs> but <laughs> but he also said that nothing was wrong with it and offered to go down on me at that moment because he didn't want me to feel insecure about it. He implied he thinks it's a good thing. <laughs> but 
now I'm starting to think that could be why he doesn't. He thinks it's too much like a dick? <laughs> I mean, that's like what he's intimating. <laughs> it's the biggest one he's ever seen is sometimes I think a compliment oh for a lot of people. <laughs> right? Every time I've ever heard that, I feel pretty good. Well, uh, yeah. Um, but you never want to hear it about certain other parts, I guess. I guess not. I guess not. Um, I think that she kind of solved her own conundrum. Yeah. But I would still bring it up. I'd still a hundred percent I would bring this up. Um, like, hey, you're a selfish lover. It's not a weird thing to bring up with your partner. As, yeah. Like everything should be on the table as far as like even if you're like, Hey, I wanna try this weird kink, like yeah. I wanna be I want to dress as a bunny rabbit and be tied up. Like, I mean, it shouldn't be embarrassing to bring up to someone that loves you that you do intimate things with. Yep. Because the worst they can say is like, I don't know if I'm into that. And then you're like, all right, well, I kind of want to try it. And then like, if they, you know, maybe you guys try it once. Try it once. I just like, I'm fud. You're dressed like a bunny. Yeah. And no. then you like it or you don't like it, yeah. and then at least you tried it. And if you, if it, what becomes, if I love it and you don't like it? It becomes a sticking point, like where, like, I, yeah, if that happens and, and we can't agree on it, then, like, I'm a hate bunny costume. Maybe night? you guys are compatible, but not, there's no chemistry. Yeah, maybe yeah, the yeah. chemistry is not correct there. I'm like, hey, can you just put the bunny head back on real quick? <laughs> Do I remember reading a story once when I was um, younger? I don't remember if I was like 20 or 18. It was like, I was the good around that era. Yeah. But. Era. I don't remember. I heard it. Like, I just remember the story like really traumatizing me. I think it was one of my, like a friend of a friend. And so I was hearing it through my friend. Mm -hmm. Um, But her boyfriend made her put a paper bag over her head every time they (laughs) sex. Did he explain why? (laughs) He just said he was into it. (laughs) And I was so disturbed. Incredible, dude. I was so but disturbed. But in a world, I will say, respect to him, because we're in a world where everyone likes to keep their kinks in the darkness. Yeah. And for him to put that one in the light, in the light yeah. and say like, hey, this, like, this is what I'm about. This is my thing. Uh-huh. It's kind of beautiful. There's a part of, so I like, I definitely have that humiliation kink thing. Yes. So there's like a part of me that like, if I was to think of, fan like a fantasy about like, some dude being aggressive and do it, making me do that. Some random dude. Be, well, if it can't be you, because I need to love you. Like I, oh, I, I don't, I, I cannot love this person. Damn it. Um, because this person would be having to be genuinely like you're really ugly. Like you had to put this <laughs> bag over your head, and because it, it would make me feel like shit. Yeah, yeah. And like feel like I was just being used for my body. Yeah, but, you kind but of, if it that's your ever shit. happened in real life, I, I would. I would never come out of depression. That's I think true. I would like be devastated forever. Like I, I don't I think that's so traumatic. Like I would never want that to happen in real yeah, life. Fantasy is a little different. Ever. Yeah. yeah. Fantasy is just because it's the concept yeah, yeah, of yeah. like this dude only wants to use my body, but I thinks I'm really ugly, but he's willing to like do it's it with sick. my bag over my it's head. Totally sick. I wish <laughs> like, I could be that guy so bad. Like that's a humiliating that's hu- like the humiliation aspect of it is a turn on, but that actually happening in real life is deeply traumatizing and I would never want that to happen. Yeah, that's what I think guys don't understand about certain fantasies yeah. is that it is it is just that. Yeah. It is not something that they want to act no. out in actual reality. Like I would never feel loved. Yeah, but if- she seems it seems like she's really into it. Huh? Yeah. No. Anyway, going to be bag shopping this weekend. I mean, I used to have dreams about having sex with a tree. Like, I mean, that's not yeah, real. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're I'm not done. like I can't really have sex with a tree. You could, but in my dreams, late, like I've had a few where I'm just randomly naked, and it's super humiliating. Yeah, and uh, I don't know what to do about it. But I'm like, oops, I don't know. I left my shirt somewhere. I guess oops, I don't remember. Guess I got to get railed now by a tree. No, no. Oh, I don't have bad. sex in these dreams. Oh, I was conjoining those. I'm just embarrassed. Things. But no, the tree one, I'm stuck in the tree. <laughs> the You've tree told one, me the tree one before. Yeah, the tree one, I was the tree stuck. tree one's incredible. I was stuck in the tree. And then I was like, oh, no, no one's going to find me. And then I just kind of got like, like kinda... turned on by having to straddle this tree branch Where for else a while. Where else am I going to go? And then I was just kind of like, I don't know, this kind of feels good being in this tree right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is why when people always give me shit. Because I like to say that I think that women who ride bikes come a lot. Right. 
And I, the people always give me hell about that, but I think that's we, probably, we're coming all the time. That's what I'm saying. We're coming all the time. I'm like, there's no about? way you're not. Oh, we, yeah. Every, anytime there's no way when you're you not. see a woman riding a bicycle, I know she's, she's a good time. coming constantly. Why else is she always on that damn thing? That's there's only that reason. I always said this. She'll, she'll say exercise no, or like no, no. she likes the fresh air no. or like whatever. No, no, no. <laughs> it, we're definitely coming like nonstop. That's why you got the sunglasses on so we don't have to see, so you don't see have your to eyes see. rolling around. Yeah, exactly. Yep, I always knew it. You were right. Thank you. Yeah. Sweet vindication. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. We this, is a a powerful, this is a powerful, powerful episode. Yeah. Powerful. Maybe a very special episode? It, uh, it's it's kind of special. I think it's a little bit, yeah. yeah it's kind of special. A little bit. What was your most special part of it? I like the part where you fucked a tree one time. <laughs> in my dream. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Not in real life. Pretty extreme kinky Not in stuff, real life. dude. <laughs> I hope I every know. time you're ever in a photo it's now a with, with a tree anywhere near it, people are like, yeah, we know what she was doing. Because <laughs> <laughs> that is a stupid bit. If you saw this tree, <laughs> bro, this tree yeah, was, it was good. It was this hot. tree got to go What on. kind of tree was it? It was a big tree. Eucalyptus? Big, uh, no, not an eucalyptus. No. No, no, it had big sturdy branches. Sturdy branches, Like yeah. big old, big old meaty branches. Pine tree? Uh, Could be a pine tree. I, I was, Douglas fir? Um, I don't think so. Okay. It was didn't have that many needles if it was a pine tree. I just remember the branch part. It was over a river. See, I could not get down. Oh. And I would, for, I, would fall, I would fall in the river. You would so the tree was saving me. He was protective. And you had to thank it. He was large and in charge. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, yeah, we had an intimate moment. Yeah. And I'm, I woke up coming and I don't know why. I don't know you why. You really did? I, no, I re- this was like a wet tree. I woke up coming to me... Rubbing myself on a tree in my yep. dream. So sick in a way. <laughs> like, and I never, that never happens. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really wake up coming. Like, I, this has maybe happened like five, six times in my life, yeah, like yeah, lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. And like, and each time it's a weird thing. It's like not like <laughs> I'm having a sex dream with a, a normal person. Like, it never is. It's, it's always like some weird shit. Okay, don't send Nikki. <laughs> Dick pics we got from this episode. Yeah, send, send me pictures tree of trees branches or nature pictures. I'll, although you'll never measure up to this tree. <laughs> this guy <laughs> was. What about yeah. those like thousand year old trees and like? That's what I think it was. Yeah, North it was like it Northern was California. very a very big tree. Yeah, yeah that's the, like a redwood tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the closest of what I could think of because it was like you couldn't even like the branch was like I had to. It was that's just a branch and I had yeah. to hug it like bear hug it to stay alive and like I'm straddling this branch Damn, bud. for life yeah remember when we were doing funny story where's that place called um where we filmed the movie but we were supposed Panga to be Canyon? We, no but we didn't film it there but it's supposed to be this other place oh Big Sur Big Sur tree yeah, probably Big Sur tree for sure defo babe for sure for sure love that so I, I won't out of respect for our marriage I won't go there like I, will, I won't visit to Thank be you. tempted I don't no, want I to be tempted that. no I really do yeah yeah because I am a married woman now. This was back in my in my um, single days. So yeah. just like I, out of respect for our marriage, won't go to a fucking bitch festival. Yeah, a fucking bitch whore festival. Yeah, a bitch whore festival where there's just it's packed to the wall to the nines. Yeah. So, so yeah. any festival, do not. So yeah. Yeah. Not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Well, that's all the time we have for today, folks. Hope you guys had a good week, and thanks always for listening in. We appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for making this show five years long now. Oh yeah, insane! And I think it's over five years. I think it's getting more real than ever. Honestly, <laughs> wait, six years. Six, six years long now. Then six years. Six years. Two thousand eighteen, like, March of two thousand eighteen. Wow. March, that's right, March. We're in twenty twenty four. It's so almost we'll we're coming seven. up on seven years. That's actually wild. That's wild. Anyway, we appreciate yeah, you guys so much. Long. You guys make it happen. Yeah, we love you guys. We love you guys so much. And especially you guys on the Patreon. And if you have a question, you could email us, Nikki up. Or podcast at Nikki.Limo. And your your question goes to the top if you're on the Patreon. Appreciate you guys. Peace. We'll see you on the next one. Good night. Bye-bye.